Hey så allihopa, välkomna, come on in. Så so today we're gonna unbox Boxycharm for April and I'm so excited to have it. It is the 24th today so it is quite late in the month but I'm just grateful that I got it and brings a little bit of joy to our lives in this world of craziness. So I'm really thankful that they are still sending out their boxes and that the postal service is still delivering items to people because I mean, we are not supposed to go out shopping, so I'm really grateful that they are still delivering and people can get the necessities, but also some things to bring them a little bit of joy while we're all stuck in the house trying to do the thing that is good for everybody. So, but enough blabbering, let's just crack into this box. Let's, let's open the box. So the first thing that fell out of the box was this. So this is the card for this month and this theme was Festival Vibes and my box is the number 23. I'll give you guys a sneak peek and then I'll just start grabbing. So first up is from Benefit and this is the Poor Professional Hydrate Primer. I've actually never tried the Professional before because uh, I'm not really into the pore filling primers. So I'm excited to actually try this and see how it works. And let's dive in. Oh, so the next thing I see is from Iconic London. It looks like this. I guess it's a lip gloss. Looks like a lip gloss. Oh, mm. mm. that's really. That has a strong scent. That's it swatched. I don't really know if I like that scent. I can't put my finger on it. I have to read up on this, but this is, yeah, from Iconic London, and the color is... Oh, it's a lip plumping gloss. Um, in peekaboo. Oh, that's probably why it has that smell. It's not the most pleasant smell in the world. Oh. So up next is this box. I'm guessing these are lashes. It says made from 100% synthetic silk. And there's lash glue in it, so, oh, yeah, false eyelashes that looks like this. So I don't personally use false eyelashes, and the reason is I have glasses, so false eyelashes, especially if they're long, they just get caught in my glasses, but I'll, I'll try these. I mean, it's fun to try out things. I really would want to try the magnetic ones. They look kind of cool, and you wouldn't have to bother with the glue, but they seem to be a little bit hard to apply. I don't know. But yeah, that's that's nice. And then, ooh, from Iconic London, uh, Illuminator. Let's see, in what color are you? Oh no, it's a blush. It says blush. Wait, what? So okay, it says Iconic London, and then it says Illuminator, but then on the bottom it says it's a blush. Made in Italy. Okay. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, no, this is not a blush. This is a highlighter. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, I mean, or maybe it's a blush because it's, but no. Um, I wish the color was different because, I mean, this could be really nice, but look, if you look at my skin zone and this, I would have to use this on top of a liquid blush or, um, you know, cream blush, because this is super liquidy, and yeah, this is a highlight, not a blush. <laughs> so as you may know, BoxyCharm does send out emails so you can choose what you want in your box, and for April, I did actually choose an eyeshadow palette from Zoeva, because I really do like Zoeva. I have a lot of their brushes, like eyeshadow brushes. I use them all the time, and I've had them for years. So I actually have a eyeshadow palette from Zoeva. This one is their metals palette, and I've had this one for years. I used to have more but they don't really last on my eyes that well. And I mean, this one is, I don't really want to admit how old this is, so I probably should get rid of it, but I just, when I moved, I just, I couldn't, so I kept it. And I haven't really used it, but it just, it has a special place in my heart. And I also have some of their blushes that are probably the same age as this one that I probably also should get rid of, but it's a powder, I don't feel that bad, and especially blush I put on my cheeks and not near my eyes, so. But yeah, I, so let's take a look at what the palette looks like. And as I said, it's the mattes, and let's open. Ooh, ooh. Mm. Okay, so, 
It looks like this and it's an all matte palette. Hmm. Some of you might know how I feel about these orangey colors. So when they sent to you the email that you can choose uh, one of the items, they didn't let you choose what eyeshadow palette you wanted. So they just picked one out of random. And if you've seen any of my other videos, like the one should you order box chart, you probably saw me complaining about these warm colors. So yeah, I'm not too happy that this one has those warmer colors. However, it's not the whole palette, so I'm glad for that. And I mean, they look nice. I'm just not gonna get a lot of use of those two colors. So those are the swatches. I don't know if you'll be able to see these ones, um, these two that well, but these are the swatches of the palette. So mm, I'm excited to have a palette from Zoeva. However, I wish I would have gotten the taupe one or something that was what I was hoping for because I feel like <laughs> once again got the orangey ones and I'm so tired of that. I'm like, oh, can you please let me have the option of saying no thank you, no taupey ones. But, yeah. But, yeah, this box was actually quite heavy with makeup. There's no skincare items, so that's a surprise. I feel like lately we've been getting a lot of skincare and less makeup, so I am excited to have some more makeup to test out. So I am wearing makeup because I was going to take a walk today. So I have some sunscreen and a little bit of foundation, eyebrows and mascara. However, I do want to try these eyeshadows out and see how they feel. I mean, as I said, I'm not too happy that they're quite warm again. Again, I wish they would have a choice option there and I could say no more orange eyeshadows. Please send the more cool tone ones. But you know, a lot of people love the orangey tones, but yeah. So as I said, I do have mascara, so I mean, it's probably not the best to put eyeshadows on afterwards, but I really do want to try them a little bit. So so actually I'm going to use a Zoeva brush. This one is the 227 Luxe Soft Definer and I'm just going to try a little bit of this. So I'm just using the lightest color first, the cream one, seeing how it goes on my lashes. I'm oh, sorry, I don't know if you can see. Just adding a tad of color. There's a little bit of kickback, but not much in the palette. Mm. I'm gonna use this one in the crease. I'm gonna try this one also in the crease, but a little bit lower down. Actually, I might put it on a... Probably gonna use this fluffy one. This one is the 224 Lux Definer Crease. This one is really nice when you're putting stuff in the crease. It's light and fluffy. It doesn't drag on the skin. Then I'm going to use this flat one, uh, this is their 3-4 Luxe Smoky Shader and I'm going to add a little bit more of the light color in my inner corner with this flat brush. It is nice to get an all matte palette. Just blending it out, blending it out, blending it out. And then last but not least I'm going to use this wing eyeliner brush from Zoeva. Um, I don't know what the number is because it's rubbed off, but I'm gonna use the darkest color in this palette and go close to my lash line just to get more definition on the eyes. I think that looks nice. It's nothing amazing, but you know. I am gonna try this Illuminator blush. I don't think it's the right color for me, um, but I'm gonna put a little bit on. But I'm gonna use my sponge to blend it out because uh, it is quite intense. I'm not wearing any highlighter today, so this will be the only highlighter. 
know, it is quite blingy and on my skin I do have to have something underneath like I, it has to go on top of a blusher it's quite pigmented um, but it does look nice it's just I will have to have blusher on I mean I'm trying this otherwise uh, so I don't think this is something I would put for example down my nose or on top of my lips or anywhere else on besides the top of my cheeks so yeah I don't know what do you guys think then yeah, let's try the lip gloss mm, it is quite goopy so when you pull it out it kind of has this string <laughs> The applicator is really, the applicator is really interesting. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It has this dip, so that's gonna fit your own lips nicely. But yeah, I don't, mm, I don't like the smell. It smells medicinal. I can't think of what the medicine is, but it smells very, very medicinal. But yeah, let's try it. So the lip gloss doesn't have a ton of pigmentation. Mm. It does feel a little bit sticky, but not like it doesn't. Mm. It does feel a little bit sticky, but it doesn't like you know get stringy in between your lips. And I did apply maybe more than most people would. Mm. Maybe a little bit. The lip gloss is a little bit cooling, but nothing major doesn't hurt you know like some back in the day I don't know if all of them but back in the day it was some like it was awful but this one I can feel it on my lips it feels a little bit cooling but nothing major I think the box of ones has uh, more of a feeling on your lips when you put it on but I prefer the smell of those more than this and you can taste it a little bit so that's not pleasant so it is quite milky it probably would look really nice with a lip liner underneath but yeah it's okay I'm not gonna try the eyelashes. I'm gonna try those another day when I feel like being really fancy. Um, I should probably practice if I want to use those, but I do feel like these would get caught in my uh, glasses a lot because they're quite long. Yeah, overall, I'm happy with mine being a lot more makeup heavy. Like there's no skincare item. I do have a question though. So the primer is hydrating, right? professional one and I'm excited to try it out but oh it says 12 hour hydration hmm. we'll see about that but my question is so you're supposed to wear a uh, sunscreen because I mean sun we don't want sun damage and then this is hydrating so my question is with primers that are hydrating if you put that on top of your sunscreen is that gonna disrupt your sunscreen like some of them have oils and everything and I'm like, is that good for your sunscreen? Or does it make it less effective or maybe not effective at all? Because that's not good. And I have been th thinking about it. So every day I use a sunscreen, I don't really want to use a primer on top because I'm afraid that it's going to ruin the effect of the sunscreen. Do you guys know? So let's go over prices. So the Benefit Primer is valued at $32. I don't know if I would pay that myself, but the Soya Vosh eyeshadow palette was $28, which I feel is a little bit... Hmm, well, it's been a while since I bought the eyeshadow palettes myself. I feel like these used to be like 19, under 20 euros, which was really affordable. Um, so that's why I think I had like three. But as I said, they did fade on me. Um, but I haven't used them in quite a while, so I don't know if the formula has changed. I really hope so, because then my eyeshadow palette is really nice. The only thing I would say, the orangey red tones. Uh, please stop sending me those. I have so many, uh, and I don't like it, so. But yeah, um, so this one was 28, so that's nice. Um, mm, the Iconic London. <clears throat> Illuminator. It's $41 for this. No, I would not pay that price. I do wish it was a little bit of a different color. I guess I can use it. I don't think it looks that bad on me, but yeah, I would not pay $41. I don't care what they say. It's mm, no, 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 no. $20, okay, but no, $41. Um, 
De Iconic London Lip Gloss, $26. Uh, okay, it's a bit expensive, but okay. And then these lashes uh, are from Baddington Lashes, and they are $31. Mm. I do feel like some of these prices are quite up there. Uh, I don't know if they're worth it, but you know. Okay, so the total value on my box came to 158 which is okay, but I feel like some of the products' prices are quite up there. Um, at least I wouldn't pay that much for some of the items, like the Iconic London Illuminator. No, I would not pay $41 plus taxes. Mm -mm, no. Uh, so, and $31 for a pair of lashes. No. But that's because I don't use lashes. So what I'm most excited for in this month's box was the Soeva eyeshadow palette. However, I am a little bit disappointed of the color selection. Again, being red tone, I'm like, please change it up. I know it's a big trend. I know a lot of people love it. But for the love of God, please change it up. It's pinks, reds, oranges. Pinks, reds, oranges all the time. Please do something more neutral or cool. I mean, I am glad that this one does have some more neutral tones, which I can wear, but it does mean I'm not gonna get the full use out of this because there's a few colors that are just too reddish brown. Um, I mean, I probably will test them out at some point, but yes, it's a little bit of a bummer, but I do like it and I'm excited to be able to try their eyeshadow formulas again. I have tried it years ago, but I wanna see how it works now. But I really like their brushes. If you are looking for brushes, I would highly recommend them. I've had mine for years. They don't shed. Uh, I wash them all the time, like them every week to keep them sanitized and clean. So yeah, highly recommend Soeva. And I'm glad to see BoxyCharm is teaming up with Soeva to promote their products because they have lovely products and their brushes are fantastic. So I think I've blabbered on enough. We all know I can talk. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, please subscribe. And I hope to see you guys really soon. Hello!